Okay, there's there's my existing chicken coop and chicken run. Learned a lot this winter. It's uh, almost New Year's. Um, there's the chicky girls. There's a lot of you seen that one video. It was really muddy in there. But we we come up with a way to fix that. But this spring, which is coming quick, quickly now, I need a bigger coop. So I'm thinking right here coming off this here corner right there that's eight feet to that post right there so what i'd like to do i would like to build something eight feet by 12 feet a coop okay picture if you will now girls hush hush you're making too much noise Anyways, there'll be a coop here, 8 by 12, and then going this way, out, even with this, will be another part of a chicken run, but I want to cover this part, because I learned this winter, these chickens need outdoor cover. They need to be out scratching, but not in the rain, so there's going to be 8 by 12, here and Koopa wind up being all about where I'm standing over to that post of course and down this way and then it'd be 16 by 12 under cover that they could run in the winter all right so my thing is to see I'm, I'm wanting to build up to about 30 chickens so I can get about 30 dozen plus a month to donate to the uh, food pantry down here in Western West Virginia but this winter has been rough on my girls but uh, anyways I'm trying to decide on the design of my new coop now me and neighbor Bill he lives down there in that yellow house up behind there, I'm not sure if that's it or not, there's a little red building somewhere. I can see it with the naked eye, but I don't think you can see it through this. Two little red buildings. That one right there is his chicken coop. He's got a big run. He also runs cattle down here in the spring, summer, and early fall. We was talking about making this whole area out through there, around these two old mowers, a chicken run. I think we're going to do that. But he was teaching me some things. There's the inside of my little, little baby coop. That's where the little babies will be raised, right there. And I can keep them separated from the big girls until they get big enough. What I want to do is build that big coop and I want to have the clean out floor right about here where I do not have to bend over to clean a coop. And then over here this direction I want to uh, have the egg gathering just about waist high. Just pick them up. Boo, 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 boo. Right there. So that's my plans. Uh, anyways, it's going to be a lot of work, but if I'm going to do what I'm going to do, i got to do what i got to do. So, anyways, let's do this real quick. i got a new camera, by the way. Yep, my nephew James gave me this little camera. Pretty cool. I can turn that lens around and I can do that and I can see me and I can see where I look stupid and all that you know what I mean so anyways I'm just now learning how to use this thing and that's about all this is for is to learn how to use it but anyways I hope you enjoyed my little video and uh, how about chickens 2021 have a good day 
All right, now this is a second video I'm doing, and I, I just finished that one. Now I'm doing another one. Oh, old girls, they're always excited for me to come out here because they think I'm going to give them treats every time. I don't. That's a treat. They're happy little hens. Anyway, the new coop I'm talking about building is basically that coop blown up big okay now to explain more about cleaning it out and waste tide not having bent over my coop's going to be similar to this except the chicken uh bars the roost will run lengthways back and forth and then uh, of course you can't see back in there but anyways they have those little pickups but basically it's going to be this chicken coop blown up and it's going to be off the ground like this one is but it's not going to have this little section it's just going to be that little part right there 8 by 12 basically is what it'll be No, oh, little chicken girls, you're just all noisy today. You're happy today. It's kind of pretty, huh? Cold. I doubt if it's 30 degrees, but yeah. Say hi to the folks. Say hi to the folks. You're getting too close. Say hello. Old ladder I had. They like that. They get up on it. Anyways. My big coop's going to look a lot like this, except big. It won't have this side of boxes, though. That's going to be under cover. don't think I'll have them like that. But anyways, this, these two videos is me trying to learn how to use this camera and seeing if I can link these two videos up. Because now i got to learn how to use a camera and an editing program on a computer. We'll see how that turns out. All right, everybody. I don't have my West Virginia CDL shirt on today. But I'll still give them a plug. Check out the West Virginia CDL Citizens Defense League lobbyist group, number one group in West Virginia for passing good gun laws, common sense gun laws, and defeating the stupid gun laws that the liberals want passed. All right, check out West Virginia Citizen Defense League, and they're online and Facebook. I'm out. Of, I'm, out I'm out of practice doing this. Anyways, how about it, chickens? 2021. Y'all have a good day now.